Hamas is not a terrorist organization determined to fight for the Palestinian people, wage war on Israel and reclaim lost land. In reality, the supposedly deadly terrorist group is actually a globalist psyop created by the CIA and supported by the supposed enemy Israel to help the globalists achieve their goals of more forever wars in the Middle East. But don't take my word for it. This is all according to the son of the founding Hamas leader, who has given up his position as the gilded prince in the Hamas movement to blow the whistle and tell the world the truth about what's really happening behind the scenes of the terror group. But there's just one problem for Mossab Hassan Youssef, whose father was a key figure in founding Hamas back in 1987. He wants to tell the Western world the truth about Hamas, but our mainstream media is doing everything they can to suppress his voice and continue pumping out airwaves full of globalist propaganda. But here at The People's Voice, we are not censored by globalist paymasters, and we've got the whole story for you. Before we dive in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and join The People's Voice Locals community to support the channel and gain access to exclusive and uncensored content. According to Mossab Hassan Youssef, Hamas doesn't care about Palestinians, and they don't even care about Islam. In short, everything we've been told about the group is a lie. Uh, you know, I was born at the heart of Hamas leadership, you know, and I know them very well. Uh, they don't care for the Palestinian people. They don't regard uh, the human life. And uh, I saw their brutality firsthand uh, back in 1996 when I spent about a year and a half in Megiddo prison. You know, they killed so many Palestinian people at that time. And this is when I decided that I, I cannot be together with this uh, movement. In fact, I asked myself a question. What if they become a ruling party at some point? What will they do? If they succeed in destroying Israel and building their state, what will they do? They will kill our people. And this was the first question, you know, that actually I had to be honest with myself. Even though Hamas gave me advantages, you know, I was like a prince in that world. And, but I did not like them, you know, and uh, I turned against uh, even my own blood. You know, because this is how much I did not like Hamas. And today, 25 years later, they are the rulers of Gaza and we see what they are capable of doing. The election Yousaf refers to was held in 2006. And Hillary Clinton was caught on tape not long after, boasting to a newspaper editor about plans to rig the election. Globalists have long used international terror groups to dictate world events, create false flags, and control the masses by terrorizing them into submission. Occasionally, thanks to people like Ron Paul, the truth even emerges inside the US Congress. You know, Hamas, if you look at the history, you'll find out that Hamas was encouraged and really started by Israel because they wanted Hamas to counteract Yasser Arafat. And you say, well, yeah, that was better then and served its purpose, but we didn't want Hamas to do this. So then we as Americans say, well, we have such a good system. We're going to impose this on the world. We're going to invade Iraq and teach people how to be Democrats. We want free elections. So we encourage the Palestinians to have a free election. They do, and they elect Hamas. So we first indirectly and directly through Israel help establish Hamas. Then we have election, then Hamas becomes dominant, so we have to kill them. You know, it, it just doesn't make sense. During, during the 80s, uh, you know, we were allied with Osama bin Laden and uh, we were contending with the Soviets. It was at that time our CAA thought it was good if we radicalized the Muslim world. So we financed the madrasa schools to radicalize the Muslims in order to compete with the, with the Soviets. Tulsi Gabbard went to Syria on a secret fact-finding mission in 2016 to wade through the lies and propaganda and find out what was really happening on the ground. The then Democrat congresswoman came back to America with some shocking news. The Obama administration was funding and supporting ISIS and Al-Qaeda. I'll tell you what I heard from the Syrian people that I met with, Jake, walking down the streets in Aleppo, in Damascus, hearing from them. They expressed uh, happiness and joy at seeing an American walking through their streets. Uh, but they expressed a question. They said, why is it that the United States, its allies in other countries, are providing support, are providing arms to terrorist groups like al-Nusra, al-Qaeda, Arar al-Sham, uh, ISIS, who are on the ground there raping, kidnapping, torturing, and killing 
the Syrian people, children, men, women, people of all ages. They asked me, why is the United States and its allies supporting these terrorist groups who are destroying Syria when it was Al Qaeda who attacked the United States on 9-11, not Syria? I didn't have an answer for them. Obviously, the United States government denies providing any sort of uh, help to the to the terrorist groups that you're talking about. They say they provide uh, help for the, for the rebel groups. Tell us more about... The reality about is, Jake, yeah. the reality is, and I'm glad you brought up that point, because this is an often talked about thing by people like Adam Kinzinger and others saying, well, we've got to support the moderate rebels. Uh, every place that I went, every person that I spoke to, I asked this question to them. And without hesitation, they said there are no moderate rebels. Who are these moderate rebels that, that people keep speaking of? Regardless of the name of these groups, the strongest fighting force on the ground in Syria is al-Nusra or al-Qaeda and ISIS. That is a fact. Brave Tulsi completely dismantled CNN's fake news narrative and set the record straight. But she could have gone even further. The Obama regime was not just supporting ISIS and al-Qaeda in the Middle East. These terror groups were actually created by the CIA to help the globalists achieve their goals. Obama, Biden, Clinton, Bush and Cheney are all deeply implicated and we have all the evidence required to find them guilty of crimes against humanity in a court of law. After this quick break, we will share some of the evidence that will be used in the Nuremberg 2.0 trials to hold these psychopathic masterminds to account. But first, an important word from our sponsor. My Pillow's range of products are all designed to give you the very best night's sleep of your life every damn night. No more waking up with a stiff neck. The My Pillow cooling technology will also help keep you cool the whole night through. It truly is the longest lasting and best pillow you'll ever own. And Mike Lindell is giving viewers of The People's Voice huge discounts on all of the awesome My Pillow products in his store. Visit mypillow.com forward slash TPV and use promo code TPV at the checkout. Purchasing these American made products helps support our show. And as a thank you, you'll also receive a free gift by using the promo code TPV. Visit mypillow.com forward slash TPV now or call 1 800 923 1845 and use promo code TPV. That's 1-800-923-1845 and promo code TPV to get your free gift and to take advantage of the massive discount. Globalists use US intelligence agencies to create terror groups, including ISIS and Al-Qaeda out of whole cloth, to terrorize the world into submission. Those who know their history know that the CIA recruited, funded, armed and trained Osama bin Laden back in 1980s. This has been our problem with our foreign policy for decades, Republican and Democrat. We funded bin Laden. We funded the Mujahideen. We were in favor of radical jihad because they were the enemy of our enemy. We've done this so often. I see these weapons coming back to threaten Israel. I see support for Syrian rebels coming back to, to threaten Israel as well. well as I see know, problems Senator. with this. Wise words from Rand Paul. Now we know he was right about everything. Of course, at the time, the mainstream media attacked him and said he was wrong about everything, which shouldn't be surprising considering that the mainstream media is the propaganda department of the globalist elite. But they can't keep covering up the truth forever. The weight of evidence against the globalist elite and the intelligence agencies that do their dirty work is overwhelming. Now we know that the CIA wasn't just supporting Al-Qaeda and ISIS in Syria with weapons, as Tulsi Gabbard told us. Now we know the CIA were actively involved in working with the terror group to, wait for it, spread terror around the world. A 2010 Washington Post article authored by former Army Intelligence Officer Jeff Stein features a detailed account of how the CIA admittedly filmed a fake bin Laden video during the run-up to the 2003 Iraq war. The article, which includes comments from multiple sources within CIA's Iraq operations group, explains how the agency had planned to flood Iraq with the videos, depicting several controversial scenarios. Other CIA officials admitted to planning several fake videos featuring former Iraqi President Saddam Hussein, one of which would depict the leader engaged in sexual acts with a teenage boy. It would look like it was taken by a hidden camera, said one of the former officials. Very grainy, like it was a secret videotaping of a sex session. While these fake videos filmed by the CIA were never released, the much overlooked admission of such psychological operations raises serious questions in light of the infamous ISIS beheading videos. 
Only days after many people questioned discrepancies in the James Foley beheading video, a top British forensic expert concluded that the video was likely staged, using camera trickery and slick post-production techniques. After enhancements, the knife can be seen to be drawn across the upper neck at least six times, with no blood evidence to the point the picture fades to black, an analyst said. I think it has been staged. My feeling is that the execution may have happened after the camera was stopped. Now we have even more proof that the CIA was creating ISIS's shocking videos for them. A whistleblower leaked footage from the film set of a CIA production, green screen and all. The tactic of terrorizing the masses into submission comes in many forms. However, utilizing terror groups as boogeymen to convince the public to go to war is a classic from the globalist playbook. Netanyahu is a globalist stooge, so it should come as no surprise that he has been working hand in glove with Hamas for decades. You can forget everything the Western mainstream media has told you about the Israel-Hamas conflict. Every intelligent person in Israel understands that Netanyahu's policy has been to keep Hamas in power. Why? Because it suits him politically to have an enemy at the gate. It also suits the state of Israel. Zelensky's Ukraine developed a bad rap for begging for American aid dollars this past year, but Israel is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the sport. We know the CIA created and supported Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Hamas is another apple from the same tree. The elites now have their excuse for another forever war, this time involving Iran in the Middle East. Here at The People's Voice, we are determined to continue exposing the crimes of the globalist elites, but we need your help. Subscribe to the channel, spread this video far and wide, and join The People's Voice Locals community for exclusive and uncensored content. I hope to see you there.